every year, falconers across the western United States gather in Rush Valley, Utah to participate in one of the highest caliber events in falconry. Only the fittest falcons and most dedicated falconers compete. The best of the best take all. This is the Utah Sky Trials. The idea of a sky trial started with Gerald Richards, who was an early Utah Falconer. Gerald had been attending NAFA meets in the early 70s where Falconers were flying their Falcons on bagged pheasants and chucker. He thought it was awesome and when he went back to Utah, he started to brainstorm. While watching Falcons take chucker and pheasants was fun, it was too easy for the Falcons to fly down these pen-raised birds he wanted to raise the stakes by flying the falcons on homing pigeons. He developed a vision of holding a falconry competition in February at the end of the hunting season when game hawks are at their peak level of fitness. He emphasized that the trials were not falconry. They were simply a way for falconers to showcase their falcons at the end of the hawking year. In 1975, Gerald and a small group of falconers went out to Rush Valley to compete and fly their falcons on strong racing homers. These pigeons were bred by Gerald to be as difficult to catch as possible. And the falcons very, very rarely catch them because they're flown every day and they're just super fit. The scoring of the trials goes off of five factors. First one is mounting, how quickly the falcon takes a pitch. The second is position. Uh, if, if a falcon is right above the falconer, it's got a much better chance of catching game, and that's what Gerald wanted to emulate. The pitch is also really important. That's how high the falcon goes. So now with the new GPS, equipment for Marshall Radio, we can tell exactly how high every falcon goes. The stoop is really important. If a falcon stoops hard and goes after those birds really, really hard, they get more points. And pursuit is part of that. Pursuit is the last part. And if the falcon chases the pigeon, gets the pigeon to turn, gets the pigeon to climb up, and if the falcon follows the pigeon, then they get more points.
Gerald had a love for North America's Prairie Falcon, and the Sky Trials has an award for the best prairie flown. In 1994, Gerald was out training a red-tailed hawk to stew pigeons from a sore and tragically passed away from heart failure. He died doing what he loved, and his memory lives on through the Sky Trials every year thanks to the individuals who work so hard to put it together each year. And to groups such as the Utah Falconers Association for their contributions. Gerald inspired Sky Trials all around the world. California includes one in their annual field meet. Spain holds one of the largest and most impressive Sky Trials every year. Gerald left a legacy behind that will never be forgotten as long as falconers strive to fly their birds in the manner the Sky Trials hoped to emulate. <laughs>